What's up, y'all? Welcome back to the School of Handball, back to my channel. Um, those of y'all who are not subscribed, y'all know what it is. Hit that notification button and hit that subscribe so that way you can be a student to my teaching. Okay, so in this video, I'm going to be doing a crazy reaction to um, this crazy match at the Buddha, the finals. Gio and Thava versus me and Nas, you know, student and teacher versus student and teacher. Okay, so let's get right into it, y'all. Alright, zero zero. Here we start and we got Larry as the head ref. Here we go. We take the first serve. Alright, and that ball out. I don't like that. But uh we all you can tell our body language of how eager we want to win this tournament. This is the last Buddha too, y'all. Thava, you ain't gonna be, don't do that. Don't do that. He went for that in yeah. and went for that drop shot. I never really seen him do that. Oh, but back up off me. Oh, back up off me. What I did right then and there, I set the tone. Because when someone, I was always taught, when someone, you wanna go for a crazy shot. It's not crazy, but it is outrageous. So that way you set the tone for the match, like, wait a minute, back up. It ain't, you know. I'm here to win. So that's exactly what I did. After G Davo did that, I had to counter that with something else. So let's get it. One, zero. Oh, you're making that arrow, you know, but it's still early in the game. Anybody game? Zero, one. Zero, one. They lead him by one. Are we hitting that ball hard at each other? What a good volley, y'all. We was going for it. Davos tried to whip spike Kamiyami me off the court. But baby, I was there for it. I just, because I was able to read his body language and knew that he was going to the left. So I was able to get it. Davos off the fly. Like, he's really playing really, really sharp in this tournament. Throughout his whole, the whole tournament, he was really, really in it to win it. Too legit to quit. Uh, mm, but I'm here to win. Listen, listen, Linda, listen, Linda. Uh, but I know that uh, I need to keep that ball in front of me at all times. And Nas knew, even though he missed that shot, he knew that he has to get position, 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 position. That's the only way that we can take control of this volley. Oh, what a beautiful law. Nice. And it's really minimum cause. We really, when you see a really tight open game, we barely call blocks, y'all. We barely call blocks. Because if we can see it, we going for it. Oh. Wait, what? Thabo didn't do the, what, the flick of the reds. Man, she threw some D's in that left, that right corner. Calm down, Thabo. Calm down. It didn't hit the wall. I guess he had got he got the eye of the tiger. But me and me and Oz is a strong team. We both all four guys, we both we all have chemistry with our partner. So this is gonna be a really good match. Nice let go. In this particular match, I know that Gio was not I wanna say the weaker player, but he was the Based on the call of whether he is the weaker player in this particular match. Not he's a weak player. But in this particular match, I think he was the person to go to in order just to get um, 
generate a little more points and get a little bit more setups. But he was playing really good defense, though. You know, but Daba was on some like rolling everything out. So then you do, then if you don't, somebody got to be the target. One five. One five. They leading. Gio be trying to throw that ball. Nice lob. I love the reset lobs amongst all four of us. Look at that. Thing. We all throwing some beautiful lobs up. So. Nice. Even though he missed it, that was the shot to go for. You want to be able to drive. In this particular game, we have to take Davo off the court. Take him off the court so that way we can have the middle and we can have a lot more court to cover as far as like executing shots. So you have to. So you're going to see me a lot in this match digging that left corner, but Davo was on top of everything. I just love how Nas and Gio was both playing that weak side. Well, I want to call it the right side. Really well. I roundhouse that ball. I said, Gio, mm mm. But at this moment is where I injured myself. Or oh, I want to say, I wasn't injured, but. My leg tightened up, baby. Like a strong arm, baby. My leg was just giving, uh, uh, mm mm, mm mm. Like Monique on pressure. Mm mm, mm. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? That's what I was saying about my leg. What are you doing? What are you doing? Because, baby, it's the finals. Bitch, you stars. And I needed my legs. My legs is my game. Those who know me know my legs is my game. And it's tightened up right now. And Larry tells me, Taiwan, if you need a timeout, call it. And I was like, baby, timeout. Cause I never experienced nothing like this, but I'm a fighter. Nothing is gonna stop me from doing the damn thing. So let's see how this plays out with me cramping up. So I took Nas and told him, "Baby, play that power side and go off about it." Ooh. And Thabo like, I don't care if you're injured. I don't care if you cramp it up. I'm wearing and tearing you. And I, he was doing him though. Six two. Go off Nas, he did that pose, he stood still. Right, see Gio making more errors than Davo. So that's why it's our um, obligation to go to him more and more and more in this match in order to score and get that, you know, do the damn thing. 6-2. See, using your body, that's what we're doing and me and Nas are really good. We use our... Excuse me, we use our body really well in order to create that next winner. That opportunity for us to go for that next shot easily, you know. So use your body, guys. Oh, see? Dava backed up and whipped it at me. It was a good whip, but it hooked, and then my legs wasn't giving me the support that I needed in order to, you know, deflect that. Nice shot there, Matavo. See, me and Nas are really owning that position. Oh! Go on, Gio. I ain't mad at you. Go on, play on, play at. Baby, that was a really good shot that Nas went for. That inside out dig to the right corner. It was a perfect winner, but Gio was able to anticipate that and just die. That was his last resort. And he wound up rolling the ball. Go off about it. 6 2, y'all. So they both playing really good handball. You can't, you gotta give the flowers when it's there, you know. Oh, baby, uh, see how, you see I got in front of um, Gio at the right moment when Dava was swinging. That's my opportunity to get in front. Even though Dava is landing down, he's laying it down. Lay it down. Oh, lay. He's doing it, he's laying it down. Every ball that Dava was hitting when he's really committed and executing is really staying down really low. He's not giving us no opportunity because once it bounce up, we're able to at least get it. But he said, baby, I want you to touch it. Touch nothing. Nice law. This was a really good game. Every time I watch it, it's, oh, I went for that, that roundhouse on the weak side, as I should, as I should. Shoot. Get off of us. It's, ooh. 
That boy's scared. Yeah, we're gonna do that one over. It's scared to us. Uh-uh, they freestyling on us. But they confident, you know, understand, understand? I'm not saying that they shouldn't be confident. They are. They feeling good. When you're feeling good and you playing good, there's nothing you feel unstoppable. So I think this is where the element that Gio and Thaba was in at this point, moment. And at this point, nice shot by Nas. Me and Nas just holding to stay in there and then be able to just um do what we do best. Fight. Like, we fight in these games. We in these streets, baby. Like Sesame. Oh. Nice shot, Nas. But you see, me and Nas is making more of the errors than uh, Thabo and Gio is. So that plays a big factor. You want to limit those errors in order to um, stay in that full momentum, you know? But it's a good game. I, ain't gonna, I wish I had something to eat right now. Because it's a good game. Oh. Oh no! <laughs> Sorry, Nas. My bad. I got you out here some, uh, flipping and somersaulting out there. My bad. I got Gio uh, Thabo coming for you. My bad. My bad, Nas. It's funny when you watch it back. But when you in it, baby, it's not nobody's funny. Oh no. So I did a switch at this point because I said, you know what? Um, not that Nas was a playing good. I just think that um, Nas was playing a good, better weak side than I was. Well, not that, yeah, in a way. And that, um, and I think I was playing a, a good orphan, so that's why I switched. A2. On time? Dropping that boy out. 9-2 nine two now. 9-2. Nine two. Almost halfway in. Uh, I think Thabo... What y'all think on that one? I think Thabo should have been out. I think that he was at the right and he came to the left and that was unavoidable because he took me out of my shot that I had an easy winner. What y'all know? Leave some comments at that one and let me know what y'all thought that one was. Oh, Larry gave him a block on that one, but I thought he was out for that. Dabba, you out for that. Don't do that. Long shot. He definitely has struck my shot. But it's okay. My swim. It's okay. 10 2, y'all. <laughs> Get in there. Did that he pressed Y like on Mario Tennis, but he threw that Y up and threw that lava, baby. He elevated that boy so high. That was an amazing get and win about that. Um, Geo, go off about it. Oop, I <laughs> baby, Dabba got me throwing legs and hips, <laughs> baby. They are trying me, they are putting my legs to the test, knowing that it is giving. Given no, no, no. <laughs> they coming for me. <laughs> but that's the way you're supposed to play. It doesn't matter what um, obstacle that your opponent is going to. That's all. That's all on them. It's a dumb problem, not a you problem. So do it. Do what's necessary. Do what needs to be done. Was the right shot that was the right shot that Niles went for he tried to actually just cross corner because he knew I was in front and just that's the swiper no swiper he tried to just easy slide that by um Geo right side so that way it kind of hides it from Thabo view and just trying to snipe it to the left that was a shot to go for I think I would have went for the same shot okay you see what just happened there I think it's Coney Island Wars at the bottom I think it was good because if you see where it hits I think it's the low part of the wall, just like as Zariga sometimes, but they call it under just because the way it looked. Right. You see what? 
taking Thabo off that point is I needed to do it over and over and over again. You heard Ruby like, that's it, that's the shot. Because that's literally the shot to go for. And anybody you play, you got to take them off. When they playing dominant in that um, power side, you got to move them. Right. Gio was holding Thabo down. That was a beautiful law to reset that power. Oh, go off Nas. I'm trying to get low and use his body, but baby, the way them legs are set up. <laughs> Ooh. Go off with the communication. Yeah, I'm trying to get everything I can. Oh, and miss. Not the miss. But that was the shot to go for. If I was able to bend, just to bend, I would have ignited that right corner. And normally I hit that. I don't really miss it that much, but... My legs is my game. So now I'm trying to just play smart, but these guys are on fire. See, and me playing smart is going to the fundamentals, keeping that ball and shadowing it around my body and keeping it in front of me. That's what I try to do at this point. See, keeping Thabo, that's the strategy that I had to implement. Just keep doing it over and over and over again. But he wasn't giving me the shot like that to hit it. But that's the shot that I needed to hit over and over. They are lobbing me. It's the time when you're not going to just stand there. Nice. Oh, okay, so that, just like when Nas hit the shot with his left, that's the same exact shot that Davo just hit. So Larry had to give us the point this time, or the call. That's only right. No, you're not. Davo, no, you're not. You're not going to try. This ain't Freestyle free Friday. Don't try to be cute. And I looked at him like, bitch, you sirs. You did this. And try to do a hook one. Baby, I'm too fast for that. But these vibes, ooh, go off Nas. Okay, I want to just pause it for a second. Now, did you see what just happened there? And this is a crucial volley that I want. Um, I, I see over and over where guys, um, they move back. So what Nas just did at this volley, he spiked the ball off the court. And Thava was just struggling just to touch it. So in my mind, I always say the next, you shorten the volley, shorten the volley. So anything that comes back, I charge the wall. So whatever he bring back, I'm going to take it off the air and finish it. Had I didn't do it and I backed up, Dava would have then got back on the court and then we would have just prolonged the volley. So, yes, that's what you need to do. Take the balls off the air all the time if you can. Shorten the volleys. So now we generating a little point to Davo and Gio. When Gio at this point, he's getting a little rattled. So he's like, uh, switch. I'm like, okay. Ooh. Oh, okay, I'm going to pause it again. So, and this next, the very next volley, we went for the same thing. I went for the inside out, and what happened is, we both thought that Dava wasn't really going to get it, which is a fool, fool to think that, because you got to be prepared for the, you know, the ungettable. So he actually got the shot, and then Nas allowed it to bounce, which put the Davo back on the court, and then we had a prolonged volley. And even though I hit the ball out, but had he took the ball off the air, like I did, that volley would have been done. You know, so that's just the two scenarios. But baby, they getting everything. We throwing daggers, and they just like, us, 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 us. And the way we hitting this ball hard, and with the, the volley's intensity, it's literally like Dragon Ball Z. I ain't gonna hold you. That's the only analogy I can think about in the head. But baby, it's moving fast out there. Nice. Nice, no blocks. So right then and there, I knew that Gio was out of position and Dava was out. He was on the right side. So I knew that the, the lane, the bowling alley lane was open. So when I hit the ball there, I said, just hold your core and tighten up so that way he can flash into me, which create no blocks because my ground was already there as my, um, my follow through. 
So now we getting a little, you know, the tables is turning. Big man keep on turning. Right, it's turning for us, but let's see, can we keep this momentum up? Because at the end of the day, we'll start um, fast and then fast as well. So let's see if we can keep it up. Okay, I'm here to score. 614, y'all. 614. Okay. Nine, um, hold it. 814. Go, right. I said, where you going? Right. Oh, no, I slipped on that one. And I slipped again. Yeah, so I went for the tennis split on the. Well, normally, I always go for that, but in this case, that was the wrong shot to go for because my legs now it started tricking down to my whole body. So now my body was going through it at this point. Oh, oh, I did that. Yeah, the push off right corner shot. That's one. Oh, right, dance with it. Come on. Ow. Um, and I'm a. I normally play for the crowd, but that's my that's my personality where. And it also take off the edge of pressure. You want to basically take off that extra layer that shouldn't be there. So by me doing that, you know, it's, it's taking it, you know. Oops. Oh, that was the shot. So now we, we we know that we're right behind them now. They call timeout. And it's 14-9. But we're right behind them. We creeped up back then there. We almost hit in double digits, which we normally call our first checkpoint. Go off now, using that body. Right. All right, so now it's no body. Throw it. Man, I'm tuned in like I'm watching the, um, like I'm watching ESPN. So right then and there, Geo, they con con continuously missing over and over and over again. That's what we want. Errors, make all them errors, child. The more errors y'all make, the more hot we get. And I knew that. Just watching this back bring back. Oh, let's get again. He had me on the floor. Huh? Oh, Tavo, you out of line now. He right. He had all that court, but you, I don't know if he tried to hit it through my legs. But that's a that's another shot to go for. And and if that hit. Baby, I quit. <laughs> Cause baby, that's a ridiculous shot to go for. And then if you land it, child. But I love the professionalism. It's so professional. How we all playing and how everything, the, the atmosphere, everything about this match is really a highlight of handball at its best. That's the shot that I'm gonna go for that people know that. That swiper, no swiper, slide, left corner, boomerang shot. But it wasn't coming through. Through shots? I was not playing my best at this moment. Oh. So those were the two shots. And I want to pause it right then and there just to um, have another highlight of what just happened. So me and Nas was at a point where we held them. We was holding them and we were just making points over and over and over again. We was at 914, right? And then we got right back up and we did not score a point, you know. Shame on us because that kind of shot us in the foot. Excuse me. Then when we got down, I gave them the first point, which broke that ice for them. Once that ice got broken for them, they started to build momentum. I gave them two consecutive points that they didn't earn. So now they've sparked the momentum because of my errors. So that's another thing. When when you um when a person is not scoring, let them earn their own points. Don't go for nothing crazy because then once it's sometimes hard for. A opponent or a team to, to get off the points that they've been held out for like three to four times that they got up. So it's you as a be mindful to not give them that point freely and just recklessly let them earn it so they can spark that own flame. Don't give it to them. Okay. So that's what I just did. And I, and it, it you know, it shot us in the foot right there. Now nah, I'm not ignorant to it, but that just means my lack of performance and just awareness. When you in there, it's easy said and done to when you on the court. Nice, but Nigel, he's like, I got you, baby, come on. And I'm like, you know what? You right. 
You right. So nine sixteen. It's really crucial, right? We have to break this ice and score this point. That's the only way we can start generating these points. Nine sixteen. Keep that boy to my leg. And this is what I'm saying. Not scoring. Oh my God. Why are we not scoring? So I said, nah, let's switch. And it's on me. I swear it's me. Perfect Patty messed up. <laughs> okay, block four. Oh my God. Please score. <laughs> Yeah, I thought I thought he made a call on that one, but he said he didn't. Um, but it was a, a few words as um, Larry admitted to that was being said in the volley, so we didn't know what was where, so we just did that over. Nine sixteen, y'all. But at this point. There was no nervousness going on. They were just like, get the job done. Get the mission done. Hit my hand. Come on, try to get the job done, baby. I think it's hard when you watch your own matches. But not, I don't know. Ah! Uh, oh my God! I'm missing all my key shots. He's my winners. It's gonna be tight. It's just hot in here. I think I'm over myself in a minute. Oh, oh! So he threw me into the the um the. Even though I had it, the um it was the person sitting on the floor. But Larry said he's part of the court. But I thought he only meant from the, the you know the back. Nice knives, but I think everything was going against me, and I just couldn't just turn that wheel back into my favor. I was trying to, but I felt like everything was like against me. Not purposely, but I'm just saying, you know, the element, you know, it was just going out of my favor. Even here, so I could hold it. But I understand why Larry made him no hold on that one because I was far away from the board. Even though I still had um, access to touching it, I still was far away from it. So I think that was a good call. 18 9. 18 They done took this. They, they gained it on us, baby. Like Mario Kart, baby. They like, we on lap one, they on lap, they on the second lap already, y'all. Eighteen nine. Mm mm mm. Hmm. Eighteen nine. Yes. Eighteen nine. Right. I said, keep this ball hard. Go off Nas with that Yoshi elevation. He said, yeah, yeah, yeah. Baby, we are volleying. Right, Nas nice Brian. Right. Let's give you uh, Vita Cicerino the score. That was a shot. That was a sneak shot that we both was missing. Just that underhand. We normally make it. Well, I know for me. You know, I'm more sharp going for it. Nice hit here and there, but I, I don't be hit. Boomerang that. Good night. Good night. Look at it. Oh. I was just showing up and showing out. They were just, they ate their Wheaties, baby. They uh said their prayers, baby. Everything was going good for them. They was on another level. And that's 
the performance you should be at. A high caliber of playing. Let's see if we can be able to... Game never over. Get what you say. You're going to have to get to 21 first. I don't care how great you're playing. The game is 21, not 19. Let's really talk about it. Is it... Jill said, you in the Matrix. You like Neo. You in the Matrix. And baby, he sure was. Baby, I don't know. I forgot the pill. They take the blue or the red one, baby, bitch. At this point, whichever one that puts you in the Matrix, he took. Point game nine. Mm, no. But baby, we fighting. Point game nine. All right. Right. Go off Nas. He was on that lunge like that. That's how we lunge. But they gonna have to earn this point. We ain't giving up. Yeah, it was no blocks on that one. Thing. I gotta talk over it. It's point game. Sorry, it's nine serving point game right now. Right. Okay, so I'm trying to use. I'm trying to play. Put the fundamentals into attack. I'm trying to really use my body, play smarter, not be more anxious, and just really be in self control and awareness of where they act in order to be able to make my mark. I'm trying. I'm trying. At this point is where Izzy always said, don't never out, ever count time one. I'm like saying, never count me out. Because just like it's not, it could be 19 and break my out. That's one thing, you know, I have the ability. You know, that's one of my my good uh, attributes I bring towards the table when I play. Never count me out. Oh. I'm dragging that ball off that court. I said, where you going? Stay there. And Thabo said, okay, I'm there. Oh! That was cute, though. I ain't gonna hold you. I don't think he... Maybe he would have. I don't know. <laughs> I'm saying maybe he would never win for that. But, baby, he been going for crazy shots. He probably would have went for that. And, baby, I wasn't getting it. Nine-point game! Nine-point game. But we play in this match. All four players, you just see the high quality of um, excellence of how we really play in this match. It's, it, we doing it. So there we go. We broke that first ice. Um, Gio gave, it us, gave us that first point. So we're like, all right, we got this. Trying to keep my body moving so that way I don't stay flat for it. Yeah, that's a whole thing. So 1020. Trying to keep the ball on. Oh, see, I've been hitting it. So Nas told me, don't overdo it right now. You don't really have to overdo it. Just let it come to you. Because I think I did force that shot, but I've been hitting it all game. And I haven't missed it. But when I needed it the most, <sighs> but he was right. So I listened. I listened to my partners. He was like, let's go. I got you. Trust me. Don't go for nothing crazy. And I was like, you know what? You're right. So now it's 10 20. I'm digging these corners out. Right. And I'm hitting that ball hard. Right. Right. So at that point, I was just going for everything. Even though most people would think that it's still going for risky shots, but that's the shots I don't normally go for in uh, intense volley like that. 
and I knew that Gio was on that wall. So I said, I'm gonna test your hand and a hot hand and eye coordination. Let me see, can you put this ball back on the wall? I'm hitting this ball a hundred um, thousand miles at you. He got it back the first time, but baby, I want even more. I started turning my head. So Gio has literally gave us four points in a row. Three to four points. So I think it's 12 point game. And we just trying to one at a time. So we're trying to really stay. Mm -mm. That was a little risky. And see if it's gonna work out for our favor. We keeping that ball by our body. I don't think that was a block. They gave him a block. So I didn't think Nas moved. But um, in my case, that was risky to run over there and not execute and finish that volley. I'm like, baby, you could have stood over there, Taiwan. So, baby, I'm good thing they didn't really finish the volley and wore us out. And that would have been all my fault. Me doing, biting too much that I could chew on. Because when you run over there, you got to really finish the volley. Because you put yourself out of position. Good night. Oh. Oh. I said you got that. And I get that one. <laughs> you got that. Now, let me see you get that. Good night. Go off now, holding that body down. I was like, using it. My 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 hands is clammy, like I'm at the like I'm literally at the tournament. This game happened already, y'all. Calm down. Nice. So I'm using my body in order to make these easy points. Come on, easy money out here. Fourteen point game. Just only imagine if we had did this early on. Nice. I'm definitely utilizing my body. Definitely. And I'm telling myself. But they did a switch right now. They said, let's switch. Jill said, let me get over there. Let me get over there. And I'm like, okay, you can get over here. And you can catch these hands. But a hand went up. You can catch these, you know. Oh, so right then and there, let me pause that. Nah, I ain't gonna pause and I could just say it. Nas, um, when Dava ran in and so fast, Nas, he got off track. Like, he was so close to him where he couldn't get his swing, so he just chucked his swing and then wanted to miss it. So Nas didn't have that free range of motion that he wanted in order to make that shot. But it happens, you know. When a player play you so close, and, he, and Dava ran in so fast, so he was like, you know, he caught him off guard on that one. Point game 15. Oh! Not the finisher, but that was a good game, y'all. That was a good game. My hat goes out to Gio and Dabo. Again, congrats on winning that. But, um... It was a great game. I think all four of us players did what was necessary in this particular match in order to showcase a high caliber of uh, performance out there. And that's the way to end the Buddha, right? Why not? Going out with a big performance like this. And I think overall, I wouldn't have a better four in the finals, you know. Not saying that I need to be in the finals, but you get my drift. Um, I hope you guys enjoy this reaction video to this one. Um, leave in the comments of certain videos if y'all want me to react to. Um, that's not of me. Uh, it could be if you want, but uh, leave the comments so that way I can read it. And the, uh, the most I'll be able to do some com um, reaction to the ones that you pick. Uh, take care, guys, until the next video. If you enjoyed this video, give this video a thumbs up. And guys, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also hit that notification button so that way you will know the next time I upload.